What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 here. Gonna take another crack at uh, making a video showing you how to use Android Auto. Uh, this happens to be a base model 2019 Subaru Impreza that I'm sitting in, but the Android Auto is pretty standardized across all car platforms, and today we're gonna do the new Android Auto. So step one for setting up Android Auto, we need to collect, connect the phone to the Bluetooth, so I'm gonna do that first. Go into here, swipe this down, hit the little Bluetooth with the arrow, no paired devices, more settings, available devices, Subaru BT, pairing, pair, confirm, connected. Now this is key, yes, we wanna download the phone books. Yes, you wanna grant all the requests for everything that the phone wants to do and the car wants to do. Android Auto needs all of its permissions. So now we're hooked up to the Bluetooth, let's move on to step two. Okay, so step two is to physically plug the phone into the car, and now it's telling me welcome to Android Auto, and I'm gonna hit get started. And what will Android Auto do? Great, continue. And now I have to download the Android Auto app. So I'm going to hit download. And it is downloading. Okay, so now the Android Auto app has been downloaded, so I have to grant permissions. Continue. Allow Android Auto to make and manage calls. Allow. Allow. You just have to allow it to do everything here or else it will be sad. Allow, 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 allow. Get set up, all right, continue. Notification access, allow Android Auto notifications, just allow, just a sec, your assistant will be right with you. Google Assistant, continue. Get set up, allow Android to show notifications. Oh, Android Auto. Is now live. So for the road ahead, use steering wheel buttons and voice actions with Android Auto to stay focused on the road. Okay, so on this particular car, the voice control button is this one right here. On some cars, it's this, what I call the talky face button. In some cars, it may look like an old school microphone, but you wanna figure out which button it is. It's gonna be on your steering wheel that activates the voice command so you can interact with Android Auto. So for now, I'm gonna skip for the road ahead. Talk to the Google Assistant, got it. Now, try the new Android Auto. Unplug, replug to finish update. Okay, so now I have unplug, replugged, and my phone is telling me to start select Android Auto on your car screen. So I'm gonna go into apps, and I'm gonna go Android Auto. And now we have the new Android Auto. So Google Maps looks similar, a little bit of an updated interface though. I have the little home button here that I can push, in theory, to get back to other stuff. Um, I can listen to my Pandora right here. If I wanna turn that on, let me turn the volume down so I don't get a copyright strike on my YouTube video from whatever song is playing. And eventually Pandora will pop up, go recent, listen to whatever music you like on Pandora, hit the little back button to go back. So let's talk about how to use the maps in the new Android Auto. That's a big thing uh, for a lot of people with, with Android Auto in the car. You can go ahead and use your Google Maps without having paid for the uh, full factory navigation system. So again, the primary way that we're going to interact with this is gonna be with the voice commands. So if I hit this little button here, Navigate to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive, East Costa Mesa, California. Sure, 2775 Mesa Verde Drive, East. 
and there you go. You can put in an address with voice commands. Of course, you can also type the address into your phone before you set off if you don't want to deal with using voice commands. And it's telling me how to get there, and I can still use voice commands here. Cancel navigation. And the navigation has been canceled. Find me a gas station. So, if I need gas, find me a gas station. It'll give me directions to go get gas. You can also tell it things like, find me a Starbucks, find me a parking garage, find me a Little Caesars pizza, whatever it is that you want. So you can use your voice commands to interact with your navigation system like that. So let's say you're in your car with Android Auto. And you get a text message. So it's showing me I got a text, I can hit play. Larry Larson says, hey dude, where are you at? Do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? Dude, I'm in the back lot filming a YouTube video. Here's your text to Larry Larson. Dude, I'm in the back lot filming a YouTube video. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. And now, there we go. Message is already on the phone. And then, if Larry texts me back. Okay, Jack. Send. Then I get the message, I hit play. Larry Larson says, hey dude, where are you at? Okay, Jack, do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? Shut up, Larry. Here's your text to Larry Larson. Shut up, Larry. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. And there's my text message. And you can see it even added proper punctuation. How wonderful. So if we hit this little down arrow here as well on the new Android Auto, we go down to a couple other things. We can set a reminder for ourselves. We can go into the settings and we can learn about the weather. Right now in Fullerton, it's 88 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 92 and a low of 70. Uh, but is it right? Well, according to the car, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is mostly sunny. So, mostly right. Another thing you can do if you really want to drive yourself nuts is try to listen to the news. Here's the latest news. By the way, you can control the news by saying skip or stop the news. Yeah. And then maybe something will happen and maybe something won't happen. So that's Android Auto. I mean, honestly, I think what you would use this for is if you use like Pandora or some kind of other music app. It's decent for that. Obviously, it's great for the maps. Pretty good for text messaging. Overall, I'm going to be honest, I think Apple CarPlay is still better than Android Auto. Um, the new one is a bit of an update, but I don't know. Apple CarPlay is just a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to set up. That's my opinion. I have a lot of experience with both because I sell cars and I have people with iPhones and Android phones buying them. And I just run into a lot more headaches setting up the Android phones, to be honest with you, just because I think there's so many different versions of the hardware, the operating systems, etc. So if you're having trouble connecting it, make sure you've got the right cable. Make sure that your uh, Android operating system is as up to date as it can be. And if you're still getting the old Android Auto, you have to go into the settings on it and turn on the new Android Auto. I learned that recently. So anyway, this is Hardworker12. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.